<laughs> Rate Lefty Gun play as a rapper. He's very, very good. Very significantly underrated. I don't think his like his, his best attributes have even been highlighted yet. Mm. And I think he's got a really high ceiling. Like his uh, natural ability to just so like he could go for hours. Fool. Right. Like he do, he freestyles legitimately a lot of his stuff as a tech. Like he obviously has a lot of charm, <laughs> a lot of personality. As a technical rapper as a as a as a rapper's rapper what do you think of he, him? he's okay so like it's, from, it's a little a, all over the from place a, yeah it's very that that's i'd say that once there's more editing done mm -hmm. and like crafting of actual records that are you know like i feel like right now he's in his development phase mm -hmm. and you know this dude was he got out less than a year ago right you know what i mean like and he hit the ground running has been and it's just natural raw talent that's unhinged now like certain certain devices he utilizes that i like a lot is what and he'll reference I, I other... Need, you're trying to take this from me? I need this. <laughs> no, I, I, it's too hot. This, this, this room is boiling. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> Young Barry Gordy is throwing his, his opinion in there. He thinks that... He, this is like the Quran. I can't put it on the ground. It's like the flag. Okay. You can't it. drop the flag, fool. No, you can't but, drop my flag. But like, I love when he'll reference older rap songs in like a really slick way like you could tell he, he's a super huge hip-hop fan like mm. like he started like the song with rowdy he starts it off like have you ever seen the chevy with the butterfly doors you feel me like he's mm. like he even made he he's able to make things that other rappers would never make sound cool somehow appealing like you feel mm. me he said no watch me whip watch me nay nay mm. that's a bar from one of his recent songs i was like who else could get away with making that sound kind of cool mm. now like he has like some punch lines i think that he He's, I think we're, the best is yet to come from him. Because, okay, you know what it is? Is that, like, he's so gangster and so street and so, you know, forged in prison that it's, like, a lot of times those kind of guys are not playful and are not funny right. and are not right. creative and are not, like, linguistically uh, experimenting. Whereas you think of, like, some of the greatest rappers of all time, Cameron comes to mind, is, like, Yes, he's like mega gangster on the tracks, but then he also had like this real Great extreme googly, silly googly, uh, googly, uh, googly. We did Delancey Street, yeah. cat food, fancy feast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's bars though. It's that, just like the craziest like and, and that might sound not that crazy no, to no, some people that, now. That, that's great. That to me blew my mind that he could rhyme those two things. And that me as a New Yorker at the time, I'm like did he just reference like Delancey Street, the street that I just ride down Where and don't really think that much of, you know? Yeah. So I was, I, I, I do agree. When I call, I, I Lefty Gunplay might still have a little bit of a, a an abrasion on his heart as a result of me calling him the Mexican Crip Mac once upon a time, and I, I don't want to like double down on that or anything, but I would say that like Crip Mac is someone who has all the personality, all the the style, the charisma, et cetera. But nobody, like, he was never able to, like, turn his rapping, which should, by all logical means, it should have been popular, but he was never able to really get it there because, I mean, he just, like, doesn't know how to rap, basically. Like, well, the, like he, no, he raps no one... too all over the place on every track. You've never seen Crip Mac really, like, stick to a flow. I would have loved to have seen a Crip Mac that was able to actually, like, adhere to some, like, basic tenets of rapping like a normal person. We never really got that. And like, Crip Mac should have a hit song. But the thing is, like, he never really had anybody, like, coach him. And I think that it's a combination of the artist has to be willing to take criticism and direction. Mm. Nobody really got to that, like... Like, I, I know for a fact, like, yeah, obviously Kendrick has amazing raw talent, but when he first hit TDE, mm -hmm. when he was J-Rock's hype man and still called K-Dot and all that, he has improved in so many different attributes that mm -hmm. he didn't have because he actually listened. You have to be willing to listen, and, and people can't be afraid to tell you how they feel. I don't think anybody was really being like, yo, Crip Mac, maybe, like— you know, hit that last bar a little bit harder, or this or that. You feel me? He's no one's really like trying to guide or. But then another thing is, it's kind of like an old dirty bastard thing where part of the charm lies in just this unhinged, uncontrollable energy. Like, and I particularly find Crip Max rapping like he has had songs that I actually genuinely enjoyed because I was able to kind of like look past the fact that he was not on beat and that his rhyming was like completely nonsensical. But I feel like, and and, and to be fair, we haven't heard like. A smash hit from Lefty Gunplay, right? Like, what what is the biggest song? Is there well, a song that gets played on the radio? The, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. There's a. Couple. I heard him saying that. Yeah, that yeah. He's been on power. Radio. He's been on power a few times. Uh -huh. Um, he's got he's got some really that that damn franchise boys joints is hot. Uh, Boulevard baby. Now, here's my biggest thing for Lefty. All right, 
There's a producer out of the 626 who produced all of his, actually to this date, his four most streamed records were all produced by this kid, Benji Rose 626. Okay. He's an amazing producer, dope rapper. He's a dude that's doing like my girl's whole album right now, Shadow Work. He's producing her entire album. Her name it, is Shadow Work? No, no, that, that's the name of the record is Shadow Work. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Her name is Germ Free. She's we'll fine. get more into your girl as yeah, this yeah, goes yeah, yeah. on. We definitely have plenty of questions about Pause, that. Pause, B, but yeah. Okay, we're not going to, no Jason <laughs> Love, but we're going to, we'll get into who she is and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But not, nah, um, he, like, I feel like I would love to see Lefty do more work with him. And he's openly said before, like, man, like, I love, I love Benji, but like, he's mean to me. That's mm. what Lefty said. He's mean, fool. Like, really, like, because Benji is critical and like, he's going to be like, nah, like, rework this or that. And I don't think, you know, I think Lefty just be in the studio wanting to vibe. Mm. But I feel like them together are capable of making genuine hits mm. that'll transcend region. And I also like, he, like I said before, like, Lefty Gunplay is one, like, reggaeton feature from Carol G some shit away from being up out of here. He's one Drake verse from being up out of here. Is he too controversial to have a mainstream, like, Latin artist co-sign him? I, you I could mean, imagine bro, that? Bro, they'd be co-signing Takashi 6 9 Okay, yeah, You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, that's... In fact, it's like... It's a completely different market mm. where certain things don't even, like... They're, they're inconsequential right to the you know the overall yeah because and what is the most controversial thing the lefty's been a part of aside from like obviously being a gangbanger doing 10 years for maybe killing someone or shooting somebody or something along those lines i mean i guess those are controversial but That's they're like rapper tr they, they don't qualify you as like such a, like six nine shit should like snitching slash right, right, right. child case when he was younger those should like disqualify him from working with mainstream top artists but i also think like once you go south of the border Seems like everybody's a little bit more open-minded about your uh, criminal past well, and like, whatnot, it's, it's, right? If you're like, it's, it's not part of the hip hop genre, so they're like these street mm. codes don't apply. And the rest of the world, like if you leave America, you realize the rest of the world in general don't care about what we got going on in that mm. regard. But I'm not even talking about and the snitching thing. I feel like in terms of Latin artists and stuff, it's like they don't care about the cancel stuff. That oh we yeah, really, yeah, 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 yeah. They're I gonna mean, take a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I, I think it's so funny because there's so many like layers of controversy with Takashi that that don't that gets lost in the shuffle sometimes. Oh, People exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's too it's much. Like, yeah. It's but as far as technically sound, that boy Rowdy Rax got it. Mm. As far as uh, you feel me, Chicano rappers or, or you know from LA, like Rowdy Rex, technically punchlines, bars, mm. delivery, like he's a rapper's rapper. Mm. He's the kind of shit that. That's why I feel like like old heads will be. That's the thing, like Lefty and like if you combine their attributes, mm. that's like pretty much the biggest Latin rap star ever. Interesting, because you know I mean? okay, this is the other day. I did another interview that Gold Toes yeah. set up. Yeah. Gold Toes being basically like, from what I can tell, the number one dude in the Rasa community who's really repping for the North. Well, he goes. He's he's been holding it down for a long time. Right. Like, Gold Toes, like if you like, he's a like a Northern Cali legend mm. from, in that regard. But he has like a bunch of different artists that he's working with, and he he uh, was you know he's he's had a, a role with Lazy Boy, I believe. He's uh, you know really linked in with this dude Bands. I know Bands. A bunch of other artists and stuff. Bands is the dude that I interviewed the other day. A lot of people like preemptively basically being ready for whatever kind of shit show. You know, there's like a lot of like pages that are already hyping up the fact that this dude Bands was on here. Right. And I actually, you know, I haven't uh, seen or had conversation with, um, with Lefty really uh, since... I made since we did the interview where I said the Crip Mac thing and then the Crip Mac thing kind of went viral and I know that he kind of resented me introducing that into the conversation of basically comparing him to him because I think he considers himself to be a little bit more well put together than the infant log general which okay fair enough but um I left a comment he doesn't want to be taken as a joke right which because he's not you know to be fair mean? and I, I also feel like Crip Mac could be sober starting today. Yeah. And his rapping and his personality. And I think everything would probably basically stay unchanged. Whereas I think that when you look at a lefty, I kind of feel like if he stopped getting loaded that he would, well, I don't know like what it would do to his charisma and everything, but I kind of feel like a lot of the criticisms would sort of go away. Cause he even said in an interview clip I saw the other day, he said, the only thing you have against me is the fact that I get fucked up. Yeah. 
Which is a, is a decent amount of truth to that. Like that, that really is like being off whatever he's off is usually enough for a large percentage of people to kind of write you off. Well, and, and it's a shame because a lot of clips will pop up and where he's actually saying some real shit, mm. but then people just are like, oh, this dude's high as hell. And then Scott, they were whatever. They just start making all these jokes. But ultimately at the end of the day, it just gives him more room to grow and show people different sides. Like he don't always got to be like that. You mm. know what I mean? So I get, I, I for sure, believe the best is uh, has left to come you mm. feel me like Ooh, you i like that but okay so i left a comment on this like random foo fan page type thing that was talking about the fact that bands came on this podcast and oh look there's another northern rapper on no jumper whatever and uh they were hyping up something about the lefty thing or something and i i left a comment and said Hey, I was just going hard defending Lefty yeah. on the podcast that I did the other day, dropping soon, and I noticed that Sir Lefty Gunplay actually liked that comment. Yeah. So we will see what his perception is of the job that I did defending him against somebody who was uh, making comments about it. So I'm like very uh, intrigued to see if that's enough. And, and also I noticed in a recent clip of Lefty, he did say, like, Maybe I need to go back to No Jumper. So apparently the door is not completely closed. We could we could reconnect because like that that I, that's well, my boy. I, like, that's in terms my homie of views, for real. the one that we did definitely is probably his biggest interview for sure. And so I also you know I feel like there's a lot of people who wanted to get their content with Lefty like early on and are probably like gonna kind of like ghost out if they don't feel like the hype is as big as it was. Myself personally, I feel committed to the Lefty Gunplay project, and, and I, I, that's great news. I'm in full support of that. I feel like you low key when you like a people sometimes misinterpret your sense of humor, mm -hmm. and I think that like when, when you made that comment, the crit Matt comment, I think it's because of just like the virality, right? And like th that's like that's the connection, yeah. Because like when crit Mac first came out and had that initial initial ascension th throughout like his whole first year or whatever, it was like crit Mac everywhere, everywhere, and there ha we haven't seen that. Mm until lefty and they're both these like dynamic tatted up like really like bombastic characters mm. or uh in crit max case comcastic <laughs> characters <laughs> you feel me? Like, that um so like I, I see where the parallel draws there but you know that's like lefty is a serious artist you know what i mean no like, i definitely and i want to see him perceived that way because the truth is is that coming out of the West Coast or whatever, we've seen a lot of Mexican rappers become big and become significant, but we haven't seen anybody get to like a really true, huge level. And to me, I kind of feel like Lefty Gunplay could be like the Mexican YG. That, that, like, that's like, a, like a real for sure. long-term mm -hmm. icon, makes the West Coast look good, makes his, his whole shit look good. I don't think that that's out of the character, uh, out of the question. No, I think that's like literally the trajectory right mm. there. And Solis and OTR, they they have the means to help him get to that point. And as long as he they're bred it up. I mean, you know, they're doing the damn thing. Where are they getting money from to sign all these artists? You know, music. Mm, okay, that's good to know. Music.